morning guys so we are at bear lake in s's park and it is sunrise and i am fantastic this morning because we are right on the lake itself anyway let me talk about my composition because it is sunrise and it is definitely that golden hour time so real quick my composition is this huge boulder that's um that's in the lake itself um, it's got snow on it. There's a little bit of uh, algae to it. So little green spots. And then I got the forest in the background. And then I got my mountains in the back that's, uh, that's have, that, that has that uh, golden hour color. It's cold and it's, it's exciting. Holy hell. Okay. And the wind's blowing like a motherfucker too. Um... Oh man, it's fantastic. Um, it is cold, which means this lake is, um, it's frozen. I got everything on a tripod. My shutter is at 30th of a second for the time being. Um, my aperture is at 7.1, which my ISO is at 100. Um, and I'm on a two second timer as soon as uh, I hit my shutter I've actually got to move these uh, tree limbs out of the way so I can get like a better shot because they are kind of sticking in my way We're gonna go to uh, another location and as I'm walking by the lake um, the Sun is reflecting on the ice which is fantastic um, give me like a leading line or something like that because I used to get it when I go to the beach and I would photograph like really low and you get the reflection of the Sun and the water same ordeal um, sun reflecting right into the, uh, the ice and it's coming out marvelous. I came and found this, uh, fantastic composition. So I'm still focused on that same mountain, but I actually came down, uh, right to the edge of the lake. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful foreground. The two boulders are helping out nicely. The ice is shaping the two boulders wonderfully. And then don't forget the uh, reflection of the sun bouncing off the mountains and then bouncing off um, the ice into my camera. So that just helps out with color all around. Mm, mm, mm. Love it. So I'm actually doing the same thing as I did in my first video um, here in Colorado. I'm using the handy dandy strap. <laughs> Thing comes in handy more than you think. I'm at like a fourth of a second. Uh, aperture F, my aperture is uh, F14 and my ISO is 100. It is freaking cold here. I am taking my strap. I am placing it halfway over my lens. I'm pretty much covering the brightest spot and um, the composition, the image. And halfway through the exposure, I'm lifting up my uh, camera strap. So essentially it's an ND filter. So it would be almost about the same exposure. So so have the two second timer on. Golden Lovely I already have um, everything lined up um, before I start um, recording so my focus is spot on I did the thing again where I hit the live mode and I zoomed in a couple times and I manually focused on my mountain to make sure 
it was crisp and sharp. And then after I take the image, I um, go back to the image and I zoom in on it just to double check to see if it's in focus, which it is. Lovely. <laughs> uh, wow, holy crap, that's pretty. <laughs> Whoa, 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 okay, so I'm going to get this uh, quick image, um, sorry I'm not going to bring you along for this one, um, just because the terrain is horrendous, like I think I've got to jump a couple rocks and hopefully I could be on this boulder um, and to get this image. So I got a, I got some good shots. There was like the steam or snow like rolling off the mountain um, at the peak of it, and it's being backlit by the sun, which I had my uh, 7200. That way I was able to like zoom in on it and uh, get that great image. Oh man, it's almost about like eight o'clock, and our deadline to leave this area is about 10 o'clock so I think what we're gonna do we might see if we could find um, another spot as we uh, as we drive around <laughs> We did find a spot. Um, I'm sorry if it's super windy right now. Yeah, it's really windy right now. Um, we drove about, I don't even know, a uh, half mile, mile away from like where we parked. And um, yeah, I kept on like looking back at the mountains and there was finally a, a pull off that um, had a lovely, lovely view of the mountain. So I started to explore a little bit, and to my surprise, uh, there is a creek leading up to the mountain that's right below uh, where we parked, which I'm stoked about. So I got the tripod, and we're gonna go hike our way down, down to the thing of it is, I wonder how we're going to get down there. Because it's pretty slippery. And it's pretty steep. Uh, I think I found a spot. Okay. Man, I'm, I'm pumped about this. Oh, I hope I don't fall. It's a beautiful composition. I've got the creek with snow right on top of it leading into the mountains. Um, and then beyond that, I've got some uh, like shrubs or like bushes that are past the, the autumn stage, which they have no leaves on them. And then beyond that are some luscious pine trees that are rich in their greens. And there's some of them that are around the luscious greens that are a little bit dull. Um, but that's okay. Ugh. And then beyond that, um, I've got the grand finale of the snow-capped mountains with beautiful contrast of the shape of the mountains and everything. Oh, it is lovely. Oh, man. So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed this awesome adventure. Um, and if you did, go ahead and hit that like button. 
because I know I enjoyed it and I know I enjoyed sharing it with you guys because this is awesome. As a Floridian, this is lovely. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you guys want to um, uh, see more adventures like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, it's going to be a great adventure because I love it here. <laughs> But um, until then, guys, I will see you guys on the next video. See ya! Crossing the road, crossing the road. <laughs>